Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a small village. Their mother always told them to stay away from the bad wolf. The little goats were always together. They looked after one another so that wolf couldn't get close to them. When they got back from school, they would do their homework, play games and always make sure that they read books before sleep. One day they returned home from school happily. They sat down at the table and munched on the cookies that Mother Goat had baked for them with love. Tell me, how was your day? We learned about ancient Egypt in history class today. Very nice. I've read books about ancient Egypt. It's one of the oldest civilizations. I've always been interested in the subject. Mom, do you think the pharaohs were bad people? Why do you ask? Well, I thought they were because of what our teacher told us. Mom, what does pharaoh mean? The pharaohs were heads of state and also the highest priests in Egypt thousands of years ago. Mother Goat got up from her chair, went to the bookshelf and returned with a book. She sat down again and began leafing through it. There, I found it. Let's see who the pharaohs were. The first pharaoh lived approximately 3,000 years ago. The pharaonic system was passed on from father to son. The pharaohs didn't treat their people well. They were very poor, so the great pyramids were just big tomes of powerful pharaohs. A lot of mysteries still surround the pyramids. For instance, some of the pharaohs were weird-looking masks. Why did they set traps inside the pyramids? because they didn't want the commoners to enter them. How about the masks? They had several, such as cat, eagle, dog, wolf. Wolf? That means wolves have been bad ever since? <laughs> the life of ancient people was so hard. True, but just think about living in that time. How exciting! Imagine exploring a pyramid full of mazes! What an adventure! Let's not forget about Bad Wolf. Imagine him with us. <laughs> you say that now, but if it this happened, all of you would be looking for places to hide. <laughs> <laughs> When it was time for bed, the little goats fell asleep right away. They all dreamed about things they had read. Just then, the room lit up. The light was coming from outside and it was so bright that it woke the little goats. What's going on? What's that light? Oof, my eyes! The little goats opened the window to find out where the light was coming from. They saw a huge round object resembling a UFO. It was so bright that it was blinding. What is this? It looks like a spaceship. Scared. Just then, the light of the luminous object died down and a gate opened. A very old owl appeared at the door. Guys! Guys! Come here! Who's this? 
I don't know, but I think he needs help. The little goats approached the old owl hesitantly. Come with me, quick. We need your help. Who are you? Why do you need our help? I come from afar. You must help us. Is this a spaceship? No, it's a time machine. I'm coming from thousands of years back. I'm here to take you back in time. Only you can save us from the bad pharaoh. Us? What can we even do? You defeated the bad wolf here. Surely you can do the same for us there. The little goats looked at one another. They didn't know what to do. The old owl looked helpless. So they felt pity for him. We have to help him. You are right. Come on, guys. The little goats entered the time machine. The machine began to light up again and disappeared. The seven little goats found themselves in the desert. Where, where are we? Where did you bring us? Look at those huge monuments over there! Pyramids! All right, kids. We're in Egypt. In ancient Egypt. What's going to happen now? The pyramid you see is now being built by Pharaoh Tutankhamun. He's focused on building the world's greatest pyramid that he has ignored his people's suffering. I'm sorry to hear that. People are starving and they're enduring poverty and diseases. Someone has to put an end to this. The pharaoh has lost his mind. It's best to drive him away from the country. We have to plan something now. The little goats huddled and whispered. The old owl was curious and wanted to know what they were talking about. Everybody understood their part? Yes, it'll be just like in those books we read. We need lots of bandages. Good thing I brought my music player and speaker with me. Once Old Owl brought them the materials they needed, they headed to Tutankhamun's palace. Outside the palace, one little goat climbed on top of another's shoulders while the other ones wrapped them in bandages. <laughs> Such a great mommy! <laughs> Is the voice clip ready? Everything's ready! Let's begin then. Put on your masks. All the little goats wore the masks Old Owl brought. Those masks belonged to Tutankhamun's ancestors. They entered the palace with masks on. The guards scurried away in fear. The pharaoh's throne hall door opened and a voice was heard coming from inside. What's that noise? What's going on? Who dares to disturb me? The pharaoh came out. The little goats were surprised to see the pharaoh's resemblance to that of the bad wolf. It was as if they were both one. It's your turn now. The 
two little goats that had been bandaged together like a mummy began to wobble toward the pharaoh, making weird noises. Who? Who, who, who are you? Guys, help! One of the little goats pressed the music player's button, and then a voice resembling that of the pharaoh's father could be heard. The pharaoh didn't know what to do and was so scared. Is this what I taught you, son? I always advised no to be arrogant, but you always did the exact opposite. Dad, but this is impossible! Be quiet! Dad, please forgive me. I'll never defy you ever again. What did you say, old owl? Should I forgive my son? You can give him one more chance, sir. Then you are forgiven. But if I hear any complaints ever again, I'll come and take you with me. D don't worry, Dad. You, you can trust me. Owl, you will keep an eye on my son. And if he ever strays again, you'll let me know. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The mummy of the little goats wobbled back the way it came and disappeared behind the door. Your plan was perfect, kids. Thank you so much. Come on, enter the time machine so that I can take you back. The little goats entered the time machine. Everything was dark, and then it lit up again. The little goats found themselves in their beds. They looked at one another. The window they had opened earlier was closed. It was as if they had never left their room. Was it all real? Or did we all have the same dream? I don't know what happened, but I think we did a great job! Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.